Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're ranking every Daryl skin that you can buy using measurements and formulas. I'll put all the numbers at the end of the video. Please consider liking and subscribing. Let's get into it. A larger model size is bad because the enemy can see you more easily, giving them a slight edge. In last place, the largest skin is Cupcake Daryl. Fourth place goes to Pop Up. Third is Crash Test. Second is Default and in first place is Mascot Daryl with the smallest skin. Again, all the tile measurements are included at the end. Daryl has a mid-range spray attack, so a larger animation is a bit better because it covers up more of the enemy's screen. Last place goes to Mascot Daryl. Fourth is Crash Test. Default and Pirate are tied for third place. And first is Cupcake. The effects at the end of attacks can confuse the enemy by putting extra things on the ground. I measure the size and how long it lasts. Default and Pop-Up Daryl tie for last place with almost no effects. Third is Mascot. Second is Cupcake. And first is Crash Test. Same for the attack, lingering effects after Daryl's roll are just annoying. Default, Pop-Up, and Mascot Daryl tie for last with no lingering effects. Second place is Crash Test. And in first place is Cupcake Daryl. By putting together all of the placements, we come to the final ranking. In last place is Pop-Up, fourth place is Mascot, and third place is Default. They rank the same, I just put the default skin ahead for personal preference. Second place is Crash Test, and the best Daryl skin according to math is Cupcake Daryl. Now let's get into the algorithms behind the ranking. Wait wait wait, before we get into all that, I'm gonna be shouting out a new subscriber every week. I'm starting off with CR7 Jr. His videos are hella tough, go check him out. Now let's get back into the video. For the model size, I measured the height and width of each skin from the front and side. I averaged the height and averaged the width and added those together to create a value. I didn't multiply because the area of the model doesn't matter, it's how far wide or high the model is. Feel free to pause the video to look at the numbers. For the attack size, I measured the height and width and multiplied them to find the area for the whole spray. For attack effects, I measured the area of the effect and how long the effect lasts on the ground. I multiplied those to create a value. Larger number, a more annoying effect. I did the exact same thing for the super effects. I then took all those rankings and added them together for each brawler. For ties, I average the multiple places a skin is a part of. Thanks guys, comment below what skins you want next and have a good rest of your day.